In today's video, we're going to be talking about where I've been. It's been a few months since I've actually sat down here and recorded a video like this, but I thought it was time to share why the last year and a half has been so hard for our family and why it's been so hard for me to show up consistently on YouTube. And I'm hoping going forward that changes. So I'm going to start with probably something I've shared on here before that if you haven't been following the channel, you might not know, is that I am living with my daughter currently because we are planning our, we are in Florida and we are planning our move back to Georgia this summer. But when I first moved to Florida, we were actually going to stay here permanently, but things change quickly. And you know, because of my husband's job, we are just not able to stay in Florida. And one of the reasons I moved to Florida was to be near my mom who had Alzheimer's. So that is one of the reasons why it's been so hard for me to show up consistently on YouTube is because I live with my daughter. I am not in my place. And my daughter um, has three kids. She's got a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and a nine-year-old. And while they're in school, I might be able to record, but I can't record because I am working full time, which is something I don't know if I've shared on here before. And though I work from home, it is not something I can just share online where I would normally have all that time to record and do my writing and, my, and all the things that come with my career because I am working full time and I work from home now. I am not able to really vlog throughout the day. So when I can record is when they get home from school and then it's too loud, too chaotic, and I can't do it. In the On the weekends, it's the same thing. When they're home, I just can't record. Not to mention that I really haven't been inspired. I haven't really done anything that is worth recording as far as my career is concerned. And that brings me to my second point of, of why I haven't really been showing up on YouTube consistently over the last year and a half. Well, last year on April 1st, we lost my brother-in-law. And then nine days later, we lost my mother-in-law and they were both a surprise. My brother-in-law had a stroke which caused him to pass away within two weeks of that stroke. And then nine days later after he passed away, my mother-in-law passed away, we believe from heartbreak. And that was a big blow to our family. We were devastated and it was very hard to just show up as if everything was okay. And even if I just wasn't writing, there was no point in showing up. There was nothing I could say or do to share with you guys. and. As you guys, as I already mentioned, as you guys know, I moved down here to Florida to be closer to my mom while she had Alzheimer's. Well, in December, my mom took a fall. She broke her knee, which caused us to put her in in-home hospice. And over the course of that month from December to January, she just, that fall caused her to like just spiral and things just kept getting worse and worse until she um, passed away last month in January. So it just hasn't been easy for me to just pretend that everything is okay and to just be inspired to do anything other than just work and be with my family. And I have had no, uh, no bursts of creativity. I haven't created anything. I haven't written anything. In fact, I have a Christmas novel that I was supposed to release last year that I ended up postponing to this year because there was just no way I could have done it or given the attention that it deserved last year, which I thought was, I made that decision early on that I wasn't going to publish it last year, which I think is the right choice. I made the right choice. As if all that wasn't enough to not show up, I really didn't know how I wanted to show up on YouTube going forward. I have, if you follow my channel at all, you know that I had and have a lot of different content on here. I used to have like, not only just writing and self-publishing and how-tos and vlogs, but I had like shop with me, clean with me, decorate with me. Like I had a ton of different things that really 
is not the way you're supposed to grow on YouTube, right? I know that other people, other authors in that do the same thing that I do have grown a lot faster than I have because they basically talk about the same thing over and over and over again. And that that is successful because if you want to learn about writing and self-publishing, then you're going to go to someone that is constantly talking about the same things over and over again. So you can get inspiration, you can know and learn different and new things that are popping up in the industry. And for me, on my channel, it has been more about entertaining or it has been more about inspiring you or it has been more about, oh, I learned this, check this out. Oh, I did this, check that out. So it's been like a compilation of different things. And not to mention that I not only write fiction, but I was writing nonfiction and I was creating like Con low content book as in as um, Amazon likes to call it so there's been a lot of different content on my channel that when I try to think down and narrow it down and niche down as they say to how do I want to show up I didn't know but then I started really realizing this is how I want to show up on my channel. I am a writer. I am a self-published author. I am a woman of faith who likes to share her journey in things as I learn them. So going forward, it's probably going to be a lot about the same things, except I'm probably not going to be doing the, the shop with me's or the clean with me's and decorate with me. I'm not going to probably do any of that stuff, but I am going to continue talking about my writing and my self-publishing journey. I am going to do how to's because if I learn something on Canva, I really want to share it with you guys. I don't want to just keep it to myself. And I know that a lot of my videos that I share on how to's really do reach a larger audience so i'm going to continue doing the how to's i'm going to continue doing vlogs and i'm definitely going to talk about my faith as you guys know i returned to my faith last year there's no way i'm going to show up online and not share that part of my life because it is a huge part of who i am so yeah that is where i've been and why i haven't shown up consistently on youtube for the last year and a half but i have a ton of videos planned and i am looking forward to getting back to it just like i was before posting one to two videos a week Right now, I'm just going to post one video a week and get, you know, get back in the groove of things. And hopefully as things progress and things come up and I start writing more and self-publishing more and just getting back in the groove, groove of things, I'll have more content to share with you guys. But if you want to get a little more inspiration and just you like, you know, vlog and writing and self-publishing videos, make sure you check out this video right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, God bless you.